Hey everyone, welcome back to your girl's channel. Today I'm showing you guys how I like to rock these headbands that you guys have been seeing me wear all over Instagram and my videos. I hope you guys like it and let's get started. This first look would have to be my favorite. It is great for when you're running late and just want to throw all of your hair up. I love styling my hair with hair bows because it really spices up a simple ponytail. The hair bow I'm using here is from Urban Outfitters. So for this style, I like to start with some waves in my hair already. These are waves that I put in my hair last night. And this just gives the ponytail a little more texture and bounce. Next step, I like to take two pieces out to frame my face. If you have layers in your hair, this will be perfect and look super, super cute. After that, I gather all of my hair up and pull it into a high ponytail. Then you just top it off with a hair bow and you are all finished with look number one. The second look is perfect for your dirty hair days. When my hair gets dirty, I tend to get a lot of dandruff and oil around my crown, and this is great for hiding that until you wash your hair. So again, leave out some face framing pieces. You can always pull everything up if you prefer to have your hair out of your face, but I just like to have these pieces out because I think it complements my face shape a little bit more. Next, you wanna get your bandana ready. This one is from Free People. Tying the bandana is super simple. I'll show you guys right now exactly how I do it. You fold it in a triangle first, and then you bring the top of the bandana over and then you fold it in half again or as many times as you need depending on how big your bandana is. Now you want to put all your hair up into a high ponytail again, this time just with a simple black hair tie. Then you're ready to tie the bandana around your head. I like to scoop it behind my ears and then secure the knot on top. The bandana is quite long, so I finished it off as a bow. And that's basically it. A great style to get your hair through those dirty hair days. Now for the look that started my bandana obsession. When I first started wearing headbands, this was my go-to look. I loved rocking this look with a cute summer dress. So the bandana I'm using for this look is from Urban Outfitters. This hairstyle is pretty straightforward, I think. You just start with some waves in your hair and you just wrap the bandana around your head so that it peeks out like a headband. I feel like the key to making this look super cute is to curl the pieces closest to your face. The texture and body from the curls makes this look super sweet and innocent. The curly wand I'm using is from Hot Tools. I have the one and one quarter of an inch iron with an extra long barrel for long hair. If you have long hair, I highly recommend this one because you can wrap your full length of hair around the barrel. Once those pieces are curled, just give your hair a little fluff with your hands, pull the curls apart for a beachy look, and you are all done. Look number four is a play on the previous hairstyle. So I love rocking a low pony when I don't want my head to feel sore from putting it up in a high pony. So starting with what I just finished with the last hair look, I'm gathering all my hair into a low messy ponytail. I like my hair looks to be messy and effortless, so don't worry about trying to get a sleek ponytail. Once your hair is all tied up, start tugging at the pieces around the crown of your head to give your hair a little more volume so it's not falling flat. You can also pull pieces from the sides to give it a messier look. Then you can touch up on some of the curls if you need to. And just for fun, I just want to show you guys how changing your bandana can really switch up the style of your look. So I swapped my bandana out for this blue one that I got from Free People. I love the colors of this bandana and I think it looks pretty good against my white shirt. Next up is this super boho look. I see so many people rocking this hairstyle at Coachella and I think it's really, really cute. So this look is so simple and all you need is a bandana. The one I'm using is from Free People once again. Okay, for real guys, I love Free People and can they please sponsor a sister? <laughs> Personally, I like this look with beach waves, but of course you can wear your hair straight or curly, whatever you prefer. So I just wrap the bandana around the back of my head and I tie a bow at the top. And that is really all there is to it super simple and you can easily do this in less than a minute for those days when you're running late. Yeah. 
This look would have to be my second favorite. Girl, I am so obsessed with braids. It's so cute and so perfect for the summer. And you guys always seem to ask me how I do my braids, so here it is. First, I like to split my hair into two sections. Then I start braiding away at one side. Here, I'm just doing a simple three-strand braid. If you want to spice it up, you can always do a fishtail braid. So I actually ran into a little problem while filming. I realized I forgot my skinny hair ties. So the only thing I can find were these rubber bands. So just bear with me, I had to make it work. Once you finish with braiding, start tugging pieces out of your braid. This is going to give you that messy look. So don't be afraid to pull those pieces out. The messier, the better. All right, now let's grab the bandana. Again, it goes behind my head and I tie a bow up top. Once you tie the bow, you can just start pulling pieces out from underneath the bandana just to keep the messy look going. And if you have to curl any pieces that came out, you can go ahead and curl those pieces. But otherwise, you are done. That is it to this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. If you guys have not already, please follow me on Instagram and also subscribe to this channel for more videos. Don't forget to turn on your notifications so that you get notified whenever I upload. Oh, and please comment below and let me know which one was your favorite look. All right, guys, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.